so you've decided to leave the Twitch affiliate program. I can't say I blame you, but I do want to make this process as easy as possible for you. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of great detail about why you may want to leave the Twitch affiliate program, because if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you've already done your research and decided that the Twitch affiliate program is not the best thing for your streaming career right now. And then there are a lot of other videos of YouTubers talking about why they're leaving the Twitch affiliate program, and you can find those very easily, and that's covered very well on YouTube. But what is not covered very well on YouTube is how to actually leave the program. So so today we're going to be going over how to actually leave the Twitch affiliate program and I'll be showing you guys the exact steps that I took. But if you guys want to know more about my personal story of why I chose to leave the Twitch affiliate program, leave a comment down below letting me know. Otherwise, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up so that way we can go ahead and get into this video and let's take a look. The main thing you're going to want to do is go to help.twitch.tv slash s slash contact support or you can pretty much just Google twitch support and click you know the first uh, appropriate link from twitch it should come right up and then you'll see a form pop up uh, where you can contact them if you're logged into twitch already then it should automatically fill in a lot of your stuff it will automatically populate your username um, as well as your email address that you use to uh, associate with your twitch account make sure that that email address that's showing up is one that you have access to and can check pretty easily because that's what they'll use to contact you back so anyway, you'll see a couple of different things here. Now, I don't have all of these choices because I'm no longer a Twitch affiliate. So select uh, Twitch affiliate as your category and then select offboarding as the subcategory. And then be sure to type in a subject line. Doesn't really matter too much. You can just type Twitch affiliate offboarding. And then under description, just type them out. Just a confirmation that you would like to leave the Twitch affiliate program. Really, you don't have to write them a, a well thought out email. You know, this is just going to go to a support agent. It's not going to go directly to Jeff Bezos's desk or anything like that. Just let them know that you would like to leave effective immediately. And yeah. Now, again, I'm sure you've done your research, but I do want to let you guys know if you're not already aware, you are not going to get any pending payouts. So for example, if you're currently at the like $30 mark, as far as your Twitch revenue goes, and you haven't hit that $100 threshold for Twitch affiliate to, to actually pay you when you offboard, you're not going to get that 30 bucks back. That is going to go directly to Jeff Bezos's pocket. So you've got to be okay with that. So if you think that you can earn the remaining $70 pretty quickly and you want to hang on for just a little bit, then maybe do that. Or if you really do need to get out of this immediately, then you're going to have to be okay with sacrificing any funds that are pending before you hit that payout there. Type it in and hit submit and you should be pretty much good to go. I also saw an article where somebody said that they, uh, they felt that you should give Twitch two weeks notice. Um, and to that, I say, uh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> the the Twitch affiliate program is pretty manipulative. I, I feel that they do not need two weeks notice. Plus, in the actual terms, it says that either party can cancel it at any given time. So, yeah, no. They said that you should do that because you would do that at any other normal job. And to that, I say uh, any normal job would pay me every two weeks <laughs> instead of making me hit a certain threshold. But anyway, again, again, I said this video is not uh, to be to be just bitching about the, the Twitch affiliate program. So we'll move on to the next step. You will receive some emails from Twitch, and I'll go ahead and open mine up here. Uh, first, you'll receive just an automatic response with your case number. Hopefully, you never really need to reference any of that. And then shortly thereafter, and by shortly, um, I mean mine took, it looks like seven minutes difference. Um, they will send you an email asking for the following information. Your Twitch ID slash username. That's pretty self-explanatory. That's what you use to log in. That's what your channel is represented as. If you have any confusion whatsoever about what your username on Twitch is, go to Twitch, click on your icon over there at the top right, and then go to settings. And then once you go over there, you will see under the profile settings, the username section. And that is where it is if you want to double check. Your current IP address, which... Seems really sus and sketchy that they ask for that, and I agree, but I, I I can see where it's a security measure, so, I mean, I guess, but whatever. Um, they give you a link that you can go to, which is link.twitch.tv slash what's my IP. Click on that, and then it should pull up a Google search where you've got your public IP address. Just copy and paste what shows up there. Your birthday, just make sure, again, that this is the birthday that you used when you registered your Twitch account. So I really hope that you're not one of those people who just puts in January 1st, 1928 or whatever when you sign in. I hope this is your actual birthday, which 
technically speaking, if you signed a contract with them, you should have provided them your actual legal contract jewel birthday anyway. This one gets tricky. The transaction ID of the last purchase on your site. So in a true bout of uh, counterintuity and making something really not user-friendly, you can't get this ID within your Twitch account. The only way that I could find it, and I even confirmed this by emailing the support representative back, the only way to find this is actually in your email receipt. So if you're somebody who deletes emails, you know, like a good amount of people do, you might be a little bit SOL. You'll need to probably email them back and ask if they can make some sort of exception for you and see if there's any other way that you can verify your account. But hopefully you can find your most recent purchase history uh, in your email receipt. So what I did is I just searched Twitch receipt in my email inbox and I was able to find something here from purchase dash no reply at twitch.tv. So maybe searching for that email address might also help. You'll see a couple of different emails here that should have some uh, numbers on there. Uh, like for example, there was thanks for subscribing and you know, there's invoice receipt. You can get things like that and it will tell you the most recent purchases and then boom, you'll have the subscription confirmation email with your invoice number and you should be able to copy that invoice number, send that to the representative. The last thing that they will ask for is your email address. And again, this is the email address that is associated with your Twitch account, should be the one that you're on currently. Um, but if you wanna just absolutely triple check and make sure you, you have the right email address that they're asking for, go to your Twitch settings, go over to the security and privacy tab, and you will see your email address right there. That's gonna be the one that they want. Other than that, the rest of their email that they'll send just has some other info, just kind of covering what I already said about the payout stuff. Send them that information back and then wait. And in about two days, it took me, uh, I was able to have my uh, my account offboarded. You'll get a confirmation email from Twitch. It said that they have removed me from the affiliate program and they let me know that in my case, I was not eligible for any payout. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 I, I trust me. I promise that I'll have the light bill paid on time. Look, my OnlyFans is popping right now. And that is it. You should be able to go to your Twitch account and confirm that you are no longer in the affiliate program. The easiest way to do that is if you open up your stream chat, you should see that there's nothing regarding bits. There's no like bits leaderboards or anything like that. One thing that I think is cool is that uh, my emotes that I had when I was a Twitch affiliate still seem to stay active and I can use them in other people's chats. So, I mean, I guess that doesn't suck. So, you know, make sure your, your emotes are fire before you leave the Twitch affiliate program, I guess. And that is gonna be it for this video. I hope that this was helpful for you. Again, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. If it was, be sure to subscribe for more content and check out my main channel where I do gaming and a podcast and other stuff like that. Links for all that and a lot more will be down in the description below. We got a poppin' Discord server. Um, I've got a link for my kit.co profile if you wanna see some gear that I recommend. Um, but yeah, let me know what else you guys want to know in the comments. And for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a nice day and goodbye.